Hi there, I'm here to talk about a bit of uh, Naginata Jutsu. Actually, a Seite Gata called Bajo Gaeshi with a very interesting technique. About this weapon, this is a very versatile weapon because we can cut, we can do some leverage with circular movement. So, actually, we can cut in all diagonals and straight lines, and also we can use to stab and use a very short attack, as we have here a large weapon, to achieve wrist, uh, knee, ankle, or some other anatomical structure before a main attack. So by using this weapon, we are going to study uh, the strategic way of thinking of Naginata within Bajo Gaeshi sequence. So in this way, as we know that we have a very large weapon, it means that if I'm like this in a normal position, compared to the to the sword, you see that I can achieve easily his safe area, while if he tries, it won't be so easy for the sword. So in this case, the sword will try to compensate the, the advantage that the Naginata has, has because of his, uh, his length. So in this case, we will start in a Jumonji, no Kamai, so that posture, Ju comes from ten, and Monji means symbol. So this posture is called as a, the posture as the symbol ten, the symbol number ten that we know in Japanese is a cross. So when we are here with the Naginata, we have here the horizontal line and we have here the, the vertical line. So that's why it's Ju Monji. In that case, I have the short blade backward. And I'm reducing this distance, so I'm practically inviting him to attack me. So, in this case, that's why it's a very strategic position. He can please, try to achieve me, and this is wood. So, I'm giving the sword a certain advantage like this. But the thing is, I'm going to attack when he starts uh, actually preparing himself for the attack. The Naginata will want to just like this one. So, the shot blade will go fast to his neck level. Once here, I also have space here to use a weapon and he has his arms actually stretched. So the sharp edge will be close to his wrist and that's the area that I'm going to attack just by bringing more space and giving more space to like another. So if I step forward and I actually put my arms forward, I will achieve easily the wrist and that's why he's going to protect himself and take the wrist out of the line. So while doing this, now he has the, his right side vulnerable. So again, that's where the Hinata goes to try to achieve him, to reach him. So it's going to impact. Using actually the same arms, the same position, I'll just change my base, step forward with my left leg, and attack him on the other line. So I have here now a very curious situation. I have crossed arms, and I have a left leg forward, and as in that position, I have my whole body in line to the, the side. If he falls the sword, for an instance, bringing the sword forward, trust me, and down, I will be blocked, okay? Because my balance is not on the center line itself. So, because of that, I'm going to change my hand, so my left hand also comes forward, and I'll give space on the back part of the weapon to impact strongly on the sword. And avoid him to attack me on that moment. So now I have opened his guard. He has a position just like it would be Waki in Okamai to try to regain balance. And I need fast attack him because that's the wood part that is here. Again, he has the bandage with the, with the weapon just like the katana is. So I will bring the, the Naginata up, bring the, the blade area up and knee down to try to cut his wrist again. So again, from that passage that we were, we impact and fast, we bring up. 
Then he protects himself, and now I am in a very low position. Again, giving advantage to the sword, but I'm going up at the same time. Push it back. So if you see again this sequence, step by step, and you will be. Okay, I attack. One, two. One of the studies of the Naginata with the Imbajo Gaeshi. It's a very strategical study. And again, we're dealing with the Mai actually to have vantage over a dangerous weapon as the Katanais. Thank you very much.